let's talk 3D printing, my friends, with my buddy Ryan. Now, before we get started, let me just say we are enjoying ourselves today with Allendale. However, there might be some people that walk in front of these cameras because it was either get real close, Wayne's World style, or back it up a little bit and have some people walk through. And we want to have an authentic conversation that doesn't get interrupted, so we're just going to keep talking. So if that happens and people come through, then by all means, listen to our voices and don't look just at the camera. Perfect example and perfect timing for that to happen. Ryan, I know enough about 3D printing to really get myself in trouble, but you are a whiz when it comes to it. And I know that when we talk, which is a buzzword right now, about automation, about uptime of the machine spindles, and about the creativity that goes into some of this really cool programming that we're doing now, universally on all the softwares, 3D printing plays a huge role into all of that. Would you agree? Oh, absolutely. I mean, for the most part, it'd be great to have your team run, you know, 24-7 all week. But, unre you know, that's unrealistic at this point. So 3D printers kind of fill that need where, you know, you can't have your machinist working on a soft jaw. Let's print it anyway. You know, let's get that done. Let's do the work that can be done overnight. And let's just simplify it. So when we get in and door on Monday or Tuesday or whatever, you hit the job and you get right to work. Let's amplify that piece of the conversation, Ryan. You spoke about soft jaws. Yes, sir. And I have seen thousands in some places of soft jaws. So not only are we keeping the spindles running, we actually have the ability as well to reduce all of that cutting time and all that machine time and everything that goes. We have it on the side printing all the time. And how many adjustments are we making to these soft jaws regularly? I mean, it depends on how many changes you want to make. I mean, the, the possibilities are endless with 3D printing. You know, if you have an iteration and it doesn't work out the way you want, just easily go into the program, make a change, run it again, change a few settings. It's unbelievable the capability and customability that these printers have. You have the customability to how heavy you want the part, to how, how you want to structure that inside. So they have different lattices and different geometries that you can place, you know, each giving a specific strength or weakness that, you know, your part may need. So, I mean, pretty much from the ground up, like you said it, you have full customability over that part. There is no impossible anymore. You can fully go ahead and customize, you know, the designer doesn't need to work with the engineer and say, hey, you know, is this possible? He knows it's possible, it can be printed. You just need the technology like the Stratasys that can take you there. You mentioned the structure and you mentioned the, the strength of what can be printed now. I've heard rumors, and you can clarify if these rumors are true or not, that we're printing plastics that are as hard as some of the steels when it comes to gripping and when it comes to what we're trying to do with this material. Oh, absolutely. Uh, one printer that Stratus is off is, is the Fortis 450, and uh, that Ultim 1010 material that they recently put out, uh, we recently saw in a brake press situation where we were able to get 80, 90 reps out of bending quarter-inch stainless steel. and. We honestly ran out of parts. We couldn't, you know, the tool didn't have any deformation. We just ran out of parts to bend. So we calculated it as a success and just moved on. That's incredible. Well, something else that comes up, so I want to clarify for the audience as well, is speed. Now, these 3D printers or additive manufacturing has been around for a little while, but the first conversation that came up was, well, it's a little bit slow for what I need to do. We're constantly getting faster, aren't we? Oh, absolutely. And with the Stratasys, there's multiple different modes that you can do. If you need a higher end, you know, precise material where you, you want to make sure that the prototype perfectly fits, they have a, a capability function where you can slow down that printing and really get that high resolution. Where, let's say you just need something quick draft, you need something put on the table for a Monday morning meeting, there's a quick draft feature and you can cut that time down. So, the sky's the limit at this point. Well, when we're talking about sky's the limit, is it infinite materials as well, or are there still some limitations there? Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's all depending on how much material that you have, depends on how long that you can go for the print. Um, for the most part, though, I've never seen a real run out, you know, on a full print if you want to do a full box and maximize that full build area. Well, Ryan, just for fun, because everyone knows these are unscripted, even though Ryan is the expert, we love to bring this authenticity to you guys. It's not robotic. It's absolutely unscripted and ready to go. So I'm going to kind of throw you in the spotlight real quick. That's all right. Give me a 60 second pitch if I'm a possible customer, a potential customer of yours, and I don't know much about 3D printing, why my shop might utilize it. Now, we've gone over it in length just now, but if I had a 60 second and I'm looking at this camera right now and I don't know much about it, why would I buy one? Absolutely. So, more or less, why would you want to have your whole team work together on one project, one machine? 
Um, this is the capability to do it. You need your engineers to work with your designers. You need to start working out those flaws. Get them on one machine that they can both use, and at that point, they're going to start collaborating. They're going to start getting different ideas. You're going to start making solutions that you really didn't think that were going to come. So I think more or less the capabilities of 3D printing, um, like you said, the sky's the limit. The designers are the engineers. The engineers are now the designers. They're, it's just totally endless, the possibilities. Very well done, Ryan. I love it, and I love putting people on the spot, especially when they nail it like that. Guys, you think he nailed it as well. Leave a comment, leave a comment, amazing job. So now that I'm completely stoked and excited about this, I'm sure the audience is as well, where can we find out more? Obviously, we're with Allendale, but there's also gonna be a website for these guys as well, right? Absolutely, you're gonna wanna reach out to Stratasys, the Stratasys website. Um, from then, they'll direct you to us at Allendale, and. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and we can do the best that we can. There you go, guys. This is Ryan. This is additive manufacturing or 3D printing. This is Stratasys. Amazing what the potential can be. We can talk about ROI because that comes next. In the meantime, thank you all for joining us and let's give Ryan a round of applause. I know we'll be able to hear you through the cameras because it'll be so loud. Ryan, thank you one more time. Thank you.